In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install these self-tapping threaded inserts into GRP. These inserts can also be used in wood, plastics and other composite materials such as carbon. Also in this video, we'll also show you how to install them into panels which have a soft core, such as in this panel with a honeycomb PVC core. When threading into relatively soft plastic or GRP, where screw threads would generally chip, break or wear down, you need a good strong insert, preferably made of stainless steel, which is already threaded and ready to accept the installation of your bolt or other threaded type fixing you are inserting into the GRP or plastic. Here we have an assorted size here we have assorted sizes of self-tapping threaded inserts, ranging from M3 to M10. The fittings, which are made of 316 marine grade stainless steel, will ensure your bold threads will continue to function and not break down and be resistant to corrosion in marine environments. To install these fittings, we first need to measure the outside thread diameter of the fitting. In the case of this fitting, it is just under 12mm. And then measure the core diameter, which is reading at 10mm. From this, we can determine our drill bit needs to be between those diameters for GRP. From this, we can determine our drill bit needs to be between those diameters. For GRP, it's better to go up the size scale rather than below, uh, so we'll use an 11mm drill bit. After masking off and marking your hole position, drill a small pilot hole first. Use a drilling guide or jig to keep your drill bit at a 90 degree angle. This will help the fitting lay flush to the surface, as well as keeping the fitting straight, especially if installing into thick laminate. These drilling guides are available on our website. Once the pilot hole is drilled, you can use the same drill guide to drill your required hole size. This particular drill guide doesn't have an insert for 11mm, so we're using the 10mm insert with a 10mm bit, and then we'll open it up further with our 11mm drill bit. A threaded drive tool, also available on our website, and will make it easier to install these fittings. Using this threaded drive tool, retrofit the insert to ensure there is a good fit. Once you've ensured there's a good fit, remove the fitting. If it gets stuck, simply use a screwdriver inserted into the fitting's notches to remove the fitting from the other side. Then, after coating the outer thread with epoxy adhesive, reinstall the fitting. The epoxy will ensure a good strong bond into either polyester, vinyl ester or epoxy GRP laminates. Here we're using West System G5 5 minute epoxy, but you can use other brands such as Araldite etc.
Once installed, wipe away any excess epoxy and be careful not to drip any epoxy into your fitting. If you're installing into a panel with a soft or plastic honeycombed core, take a bent nail or better still a modified allen key as shown here and use this to gouge away at the core. Using this cutoff, we can demonstrate how this works to hollow this Nidaplast plastic core. You only need the hollowed area to be approximately twice the diameter of the fitting being installed. And then we fill the void with epoxy resin. You may need to let the resin settle and top it up a few times. When the epoxy is cured, you can drill right through the solid epoxy core and install your self-tapping threaded insert. If you're installing these in an area where you haven't got access to the back of the panel, it's a good idea to drive the fitting halfway, then remove it, turn the fitting upside on the drive tool and then continue threading. This way, if the fitting gets stuck, you can easily get your screwdriver in to retrieve it and then simply epoxy bond the fitting just as we demonstrated earlier in the video. These inserts can be used on thinner GRP and carbon panels also, but it is best to add further layers of carbon, fibreglass or a strong core where these fittings may be inserted to add thickness and strength to those key areas. Another good tip for drilling into gel coated GRP is to use a diamond tipped drill bit that won't chip the gel coat as it drives into the panel. 
Or, if you don't have a diamond tip drill bit, then protect the gel coat with masking tape and initially run the drill bit in reverse to clear the 0.5 gel coat thickness and then drive the drill in the rest of the way as normal. Countersinking the hole will also prevent chipping when installing your insert.